Today I am guiding you through a short upper body hybrid workout using the movement stick and long loop resistance bands. I'll leave a link in the description below for where you can get both of these tools along with a discount code. For this workout, we have five exercises. We're doing 10 reps per move, and I'll be guiding you through the entire time. This is great if you're short on time, and it's also a really wonderful warm up for those heavy lifting days to make sure your muscles are engaged and ready for those longer sets and heavier weights. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the bell for notifications, like this video, and be sure to come back to this movement stick playlist for more. So we are using the movement stick in a little bit of an alternative way with a long loop resistance band. So it's gonna basically be our barbell and the resistance band is gonna add resistance. The great thing is this movement stick is already eight pounds. So for some of you, it may be a great workout all on its own. I certainly think it is. If you want to make it a little bit easier, you can always do this with a broomstick, a dowel, any other kind of thing that will be significantly lighter. So bringing the band around the stick and your foot is going to be resting on top, both feet are going to be resting on top of the band. So I love my little suspension mat because it gives me a ruler and it tells me where I want my feet to be. And take your time setting yourself up for success here. Really allow yourself to get the band and the movement stick exactly where you feel comfortable. You want your feet about hip width apart. First exercise, we've got five exercises. They're all bilateral. So this is a nice, quick workout here. We're doing 10 reps per move. First move is a deadlift in that even stance. So we're really just turning on the glutes, getting those arms working, getting the back working. I want the stick to kind of have the bands right in the middle and I'm going to lift up. So butt is pushing back. I have a nice straight back. I'm going to go down to as far as I can comfortably and then stand all the way up. Squeeze your glutes as you stand up. We got nine more. Down. You don't have to try and touch the ground. Two. Down, three, really focusing on pushing that butt back. I'm gonna go to the side so you can see from a different angle. Four, five, try to keep those arms even and alive. Set that down, take a breath, reset as needed. Again, this is a really wonderful warm up for a heavy lifting day, but as this is eight pounds plus I'm adding tension to it, it's a pretty good workout on its own. I'll be sweating by the end, I'm sure. But what we're really doing is working on upper body, right? So starting big with the entire body, next we're going to do bent over rows. And then we'll get into more specific wrists and fingers. So bent over rows, hinge of the hips, push those hips back, grab the stick, and you're bringing it up towards your chest. Elbows reach back behind you. One, two, again, thinking about keeping even movement from both arms. Three, four, Drop it down, take a breath, shake it out, getting into some finger curls. So if you need to, you can always move down in tension as well. For this band, let me come face forward, 
for you. But overall, it's nice that we're in the same position the entire time. So, you're going to have that underhand grip here. Feet are hip-width apart. Arms are about shoulder width. Squeeze your glutes, and you're really going to allow your fingers to just barely hold that stick. And then curl all the way up so that you have a nice grip on it. Release. Fingers are shaking, just trying to keep the bare minimum on. Two. Three. Really working on grip strength right here. It's amazing how such a small movement can make such a difference. Making sure that you're working that grip is essential, not just for longevity, but for daily life. We'll go one more. Setting it down, take a breath, take a second. We're gonna do the overhand grip, palms face towards your body for these wrist extensor curls. This is going to definitely be difficult for me, so I'm gonna move down to a lighter resistance band so that it's just a little bit easier because of my elbow injury. That said, I'm definitely, I'm working on these as a way of strengthening and regaining all of the range and strength that I had before my injury. And this has been a really fun alternative to just kind of regular weightlifting. So in that overhand grip, palms are facing your body and you're going to try and Curl those knuckles away. Palms will end up facing down towards the ground. Return to center. Curl up. So palms, for, palms face down towards the ground. Knuckles face towards your head or the ceiling. That's three. I'll go to the side. Four. Five. Six. Small movement, but powerful. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Last move, last exercise of this workout today. You're gonna have that overhand grip or underhand grip. Palms are facing away from your body. Same basic concept. Now we're doing wrist flexor curls. So you're gonna try and bring those knuckles as close to your body as possible. One, two, definitely difficult for me on my left side because that's the injured side. Slow and with control. forward. Five more. Two. Three. Four. And five. Whew. Set that down. Shake it out. What a wonderful, fun tool. And I love getting to kind of mix and match and play with things and put them all together to create my own home gym. So I don't need all that equipment that you find in a gym. I hope you enjoyed this quick little workout with the movement stick and resistance bands. I have a link in the description below along with a discount code for where you can get all of these tools. 
And if you enjoyed this workout, please make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe for my channel, and leave a comment. Let me know what you liked and what else you'd love for me to do, because I'd love to make videos that you want to see and that you feel like are missing. Have a wonderful day.